Hello, this is Emmanuel, and today I have a question to ask you. Are you really communicating in your relationship, or are you just speaking? Are you really sharing what's on your heart and connecting on that deep, emotional level? Or are you just having an intellectual banter where somebody feels like somebody's won and somebody's lost? If you really want to start to communicate in your relationship, you need five elements. You need vulnerability, authenticity, transparency, honesty, and truthfulness. Unfortunately, in relationships that don't have these, there's just the illusion of communication that happens and then it leads into troubles. I'm going to share two unfortunate examples with you. Just a short while ago, there was a guy that came in to see me and after about 17 years, he was shocked that his wife wanted a divorce from him. And it was because he had accepted a position to be able to move them outside of the country. He mentioned to me that they'd spoken about it and that she was absolutely okay with it and that they traveled to many different places. So it was a little bit surprised when she said that she didn't want to go and she didn't know how to tell him. But she just decided, you know what, she's had enough. Obviously, there was something missing in the communication in that relationship and maybe he missed some certain signs. There's another one that just recently happened, and after about 10 years of marriage, all of a sudden a lady told this man that she was about to leave and that she didn't want kids after having three kids with him. This was a communication breakdown, and this is something that could have been avoided if an atmosphere of vulnerability, authenticity, transparency, honesty, and truthfulness had been established in the relationship. So I want to ask you this question. Do you really feel vulnerable in your relationship? Can you be vulnerable enough where you can share your heart? Can you be your authentic self without feeling like somebody's not going to like it? Are you really being transparent and talking about what's in your heart and what you're really feeling? Are you being honest? And then are you being truthful? Are you really looking deep into your heart to make sure that you're not lying to yourself or lying to the other person? If this is something that's lacking in your relationship and you really want to have it, I want to talk about something that is going to help you create that environment that I call VAX, which are the five things that I spoke about. And if you want to be able to communicate in your relationship, then you have to show that you really care. You have to set an atmosphere that you really care. And here's what care stands for. You have to be compassionate. That's going to lead to somebody being vulnerable because you're acting with compassion. Then you have to pay attention to the details. Okay, even if somebody's just being honest with you, just because they're being honest doesn't mean they're being truthful with what's in their hearts. You have to really pay attention to what somebody is showing you both in their actions and in their words. And pay attention to details to really have that ongoing communication may be set apart sometime every single week to pay attention and really, really listen. So you have to pay attention to the other person. The R in the care stands for respect. The person has to know that you respect them. Otherwise, the person's not going to feel like they can really be transparent or authentic with you. And then the final one, the E, is empathy. You have to come and speak with the person and create an environment of empathy in your home and in your relationship. So if you want to communicate, you have to show that you care. That is, you have to act with compassion, pay attention, have an atmosphere of respect, and be able to empathize. If you don't do that, you may fall into the trap that these other two relationships did. And I don't want that for you. I want you to really be able to communicate so that you can have longevity in your relationship. So that's what I really wanted to share today. And I hope that you're not just listening to this, but you will put it into practice. Okay, I really want you to put it into practice because it may make the difference between whether you have a long-term relationship or whether something just breaks apart and it leaves you and the other person hurt. I hope you really enjoy this. Thank you for listening. I hope you will implement it. Hey, do subscribe to this channel if you like what we're talking about. There's going to be lots more coming your way. And do check out our website, www.relationshipminibooks.com. There's a lot more stuff over there. There's free stuff that you can get your hand on, free material, free recordings, 
please do take the time to learn and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.